how did we end up sleeping in a tent in the middle of the winter? Well, we're building a 400 foot long skating trail through my yard and I want to get it done for Mason's seventh birthday party. In the first episode, we tried all kinds of crazy techniques to lay in this trail down as quickly as possible. Some ideas worked better than others. In episode two, we discovered this beautiful machine, but I don't think we were supposed to use it for this. Uh oh, there's, there's poop in the... <laughs> That looks fresh. You want to run it over? I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mason's birthday is tomorrow, so we need to finish this trail so I can deliver his cake in epic fashion. That is why we stayed in the tent and we broke out every single technique, including this propane power. Um, I, I don't even know, guys, to be honest. We fought through frozen hoses. We even busted out the flamethrowers. We have 24 hours to finish this trail. Let's get to work. <laughs> You ready for the night shift? I guess so. It's supposed <laughs> to get down to like negative 30, negative 35 with the wind chill. We're gonna be frozen. Most important thing, let's start a fire. You lent me, what do you call these hats? Oh, the flappy hat. The this flappy is a hat. must. It keeps the cheeks warm. You can clip it at the bottom. I always knew at school when we wouldn't have to stay in the yard because sometimes they let you come into the school. It's if you breathed in a bit and you coughed, like that's how cool it was. Right. Or when you breathe in and your nose hairs all freeze together. How rewarding is it going to be if we wake up in the morning and we weren't sure like if it's good or not and then it's like perfect. We wake up, we got the trail going right to the tent. Tricks of the trade, you don't want to lose your fingers. Grab a stick right here. See this one won't stand up on its own, it's thin. So you just hold it with this and you'd have to miss by a lot to hit your hand. <laughs> if you miss by that much, you shouldn't be chopping wood. The most important thing, get the fire going. Yes, because that's fun. Yeah, because that's fun. What we need to make it through the night, obviously firewood for the, the trail. Look at that. We got chains on the boots. Most important thing is to keep both of us uh, alive and, <laughs> and uh, not injured because one man goes down, that's gonna delay. Never work on an ice trail at night by yourself. Got a bag of treats. Oh, nice. Ice cream? <laughs> mm, it's not Chapman's. Oh, might as well. Hold on, get a shot of this, Hayden. Oh, got a little wiggle here. Da, 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 da. We can see. Oh my gosh. And so can the outer space. It's wonderful, <laughs> Clark. Uh, I like so the good. second uh, twinkly lights. Yeah, I think it looks more like uniform. I don't want to blind you guys, but mine, like every time I put it up, it just flops back down. Yeah. <laughs> Not I ideal. I spent a few nights in the tent. I think there's some headlamps in there. We got wood and a bag of treats. So. <laughs> My chips! <laughs> you just stepped on my chips. Oh no! <laughs> wow. The best part of the bag is always the crumbs at the bottom, right? <laughs> I just made your whole bag the crumbs at the bottom. <laughs> Man, this thing would pick up some speed. <laughs> I almost want to send it down. Dangerous. Just <laughs> <laughs> it's dang. It, someone will get hurt. Well, there's no one down there. Possible scenario. The I'd say you're going for the A frame. Yeah. And then you'll have to bail, and then this thing will just hit it and explode. And you wreck the A frame in this thing. Or you don't get off in time. <laughs> Taking the snow path. <laughs> Take a look around. We got the hockey rink. Yeah. The work we did earlier today, this looks pretty like. It's good, eh? Like. It's ice, it's just we gotta smooth it out. It, it's close to skatable. Yeah, like close. Yeah, the, the, the ring, the A-frame, and, and back here, we have da, 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 da. Hayden's apartment. Yeah. Would you pay to stay here? If I put this in Airbnb, how many people are booking it? Are you keeping tending to the fire in the middle of the night? Just like, no, that's room that, service. That's part of the experience. Are right, you sneak in there. Got the stove there. I got some firewood. See, pre stock. Oh, yeah, dried up. What's that balloon? Uh, I celebrated my birthday party here. You got the pots to so get up off the ground. This is my custom repair. So, uh, the steel pole, it uh, bent in half, too much snow, and then I, I fixed it with uh, two hockey sticks, and that's the Deno Charis. So, it ain't going anywhere. It's like 160 bucks. It is uh, 20 below. It's gonna get a little bit colder tonight. Without the wind chill. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad at the tent, but I think we should get the fire going. Here's the, uh, the stove. I'm gonna fire this thing up. But first, I think we need some treats. Got them in the fridge outside. Earthquake! Oh, 
Yo, actually, this is gonna be too nice. So right out here, yeah. it's already pretty icy. The idea here is that we can just uh, put on our skates and skate right out there. Before we start the fire, we should install the pipe. Vent it out of the so it does not fill with smoke. <laughs> Oh, it's beer. Barrel aged brown ale. Oh, you were <laughs> expecting a Chapman's ice cream sandwich? I was. I'm yeah. sorry, hey. <laughs> you said you kept them in the freezer. <laughs> How about you have another Canadian treat? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have a local brewery. This is uh, Muskoka Brewery for me. Easy. Easy. This is the spark arrester. Keeps the sparks from uh, coming out and starting our tent on fire while we sleep. Oh, that's a critical. Yeah. It works like 60% of the time. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, Just good jam it in. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty much good. I gotta make something that'll catch fire. Let's see if I need a little feather stick going here. And they'll start on fire well. I see a zip, zip, bright zip. light. Andrew's here. Unzip me and come inside. <laughs> The this is Andrew. If you remember from episode one, he has his own pressure washing business and he's a bit of a mad scientist. He rocked up with a hot water pressure washer, 300 feet of hose, and this crazy device that he built from spare parts. Safe to say he showed up prepared for the sleepover. Your headlamp's a little brighter than mine. Andrew just showed up, the professional, <laughs> as you can tell, delivered these headlamps. Look at this. So that's like on. The double click, Andrew? Yeah. Oh, it's like, <laughs> it's daylight in here. Jeez. Oh my God, what are we messing around with these dollar store BS garbage? Yeah. Oh my God. How long does the battery last, six seconds? <laughs> oh no, it's not bad. What that's are these, sweet. like nuclear or? No, you gotta get, so these are. Fusion? Like, yeah, this is hydrogen, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little nuclear reactor. I was also working on this mobile trail flooding system, but I didn't have a faucet, but Andrew came through big. Oh, look at the, <laughs> look at the pretty bird. <laughs> oh my God, like, wow, what grandma had this installed in her yard? And for some reason, Andrew brought like 50 pounds of bricks. What are you doing in my yard? <laughs> a sled full of interlock bricks. Dude, <laughs> Being a tiny can't you see it's, it's 1 a.m.? Is it loud? I feel like it's really loud. <laughs> Bye. Steer. <laughs> so Andrew has a bunch of interlock bricks that he's gonna stack around the fireplace in the tent, to try to create some sort of radiant heat, you know, a thermal mass, so it stays warmer in there. I mean, it's already nice and toasty, but once we're sleeping, maybe not. And you can't have a sleepover without a. I told you, hey. <laughs> I said bring your stuff, be in your blanket. So the boys are all here, we're ready. It's time to get to work. First, we gotta build this fire though. Make sure it's nice and toasty in this tent. It is really cold outside, which is perfect for building this trail. We're gonna do multiple passes of water and it's gonna build that ice up really quickly. And then we finally get to test the flame bony. First, let's start flooding. 128, we'll call it 130 a.m. And uh, 24 below, my fingers are freezing. We're gonna lay down some water. Let's go. Here's the plan. This is our leader hose. So grab that. We in. should untie the knot from it. This one will be hooking up to the faucet. What else do you think you'd be doing at 1.30 a.m. in my garage? I knew what I signed up for. Just a wee bit more. What if it freezes instantly? I'm so concerned. Ready? Yeah. Oh, sounds like we got water. We've got movement. Can it make it through? It. It's like a little snake. Red, activated. Oh, black? Black. I hear water. Oh. Hey. You've got a spurt. All right, go ahead. Go flood in and prosper. <laughs> this is crazy. 2 a.m. just feeding hose at my garage. She's slick. What happened? What? We have had a disaster. Yeah, we what? need the other attachment real what? fast. What happened? It's so cold I can't stop or the towel freezes. He broke it? How did he break it? <laughs> it's literally getting stuck. What the frig? Oh my god. Ah, no! Oh no! Hayden! What happened? It, it completely broke. It's busted. 
pop that off while she still pops. <laughs> oh, I got it in the face. Okay. We're good. It, it's literally like, it was like freezing. This one's even faster. Oh That's my right, God. we needed the higher flow. This is too low flow. <laughs> Very time sensitive. The extreme cold weather did cause a few problems, but we were laying down a trail at a record pace. Oh yeah, this is so nice. That's what we're here for. This section of the hose is actually solid, like it's a bar. It is, I'm holding on to an iron pipe right now. Oh, we got some trees on. Andrew, do you want to go with the uh, the flooding? We worked as a team to make sure nothing froze up. Oh shit! I stuck it to the driveway, bud. Oh boy, the towel of fortune. All right, ready? So clearly you can't sit her down. Ready? <laughs> Grab know. and go, I got the hose. Did you stick? We're making ice, bud. This is a perfect little spot, just like, we're just buying time, letting this part freeze. Work way back up again. Ah, oh, duster! Two ice paths diverged in the yellow woods, and Andrew took the one less traveled. It's a poem, an original from Jeremy Repke. We continued to build the trail up by flooding, but there were some low spots and I filled those in with snow. The nice thing about the really cold weather is that by the time we got to the end of the trail, we could start again at the beginning. While we had a solid strategy for the low spots, we needed to figure out how to get rid of the high spots. And that's where it got interesting. <laughs> now we're gonna have some fun. If you see a high spot, you cook it. Put that in your pocket. <laughs> I'll carry the flamethrower, you carry the fire extinguisher. <laughs> ne need a light? Yes, <laughs> oh, we need some campfire. Ready? Take number two. Oh, I can smell the <laughs> now we're having fun. Yeah, you, you think my neighbors ever worry about me? Careful where you point this thing. But it is surprising how long it takes. Like you think it's just gonna instantly melt everything, but you have to kind of like stay on it. Like, yeah. Especially the ice. The ice takes a little while. And what it does is it melts everything around it too. Before, yeah, yeah. I can see that. You would think this would melt faster, right? Like that took a while. Hey, it was on fire in there. What the heck? It's actually on fire. Maybe there's some propane stuck in there. I'm gonna turn my light off. That was cool. Turn your light off. Oh my God. Look! The snow's on fire! <laughs> Why is snow on fire? It's still going down there. What the? I'm worried that I got a gas leak in my house somewhere. Let's try it again. Yeah, I bet it's blowing like propane inside of it. The purpose of the flamethrower was a seek and destroy mission. We find any high spots, we melt them down, and while it melts the high spot, it naturally creates a thin layer of water that fills in the low spots, giving us a more even surface. And while it was satisfying, we did have another method we wanted to try, a flame bony. The only problem is my brother built it and we didn't really know how to work the thing, but we're gonna find out. How do you even light this thing? Give me some propane. Gosh darn it! That's the design, eh? Well, we gotta do both somehow. <laughs> Wait, turn on the other one. Just a wee bit. Just a smidge. So this is the trouble. We have to simultaneously light each one. <laughs> yeah. I could probably light them both. Alright, give me a little gas. Yep. Woo! We got dual fuel, baby! So now. <laughs> is it gonna burn right through that or not? She's glowing. Yeah, all right, well, okay, we gotta get it moving quick. We don't really know how to adjust this thing. Um, flip it, throw the tanks on, and I'll start driving it. You, you hold it, pick up the tank now. Ready? <laughs> oh no. We gotta get on the move. I think it's working. Oh man, I got like a steam. Wow! Look at the steam coming back. I got a steam bath. Is it doing anything? That's incredible. It's glowing. I can't turn off your headlamp. Oh my god. It's glowing underneath. 
Oh. If if I lose control, <laughs> if I lose control, of this is everybody run. He has the fire stick. What is? It's leaving a black streak. Oh no. She probably burnt a little hot. <laughs> to to be honest, but. <laughs> That was pretty successful, I think. And uh, let's go take a look at our, our ice path. I'm gonna put this on day daytime mode. No, no we're not. <laughs> no. Did it blast a hole? You know what? That just that just buffs right it's off. Just a flesh wound. Just... Yeah, you just... All right, well, let's see. Did it make it slick? Oh, wait, I forgot that I had uh, chains yeah. on the bottom of my boots. I think that's really something. So yeah, I think that's, that's got some good potential. It's 3 a.m., we're gonna call it a night, get some sleep, wake up in the morning, and we're excited to see what the trail looks like. Oh yeah, she's still warm, boys. It got down to negative 30 at night, so every few hours I wake up, put a few logs in the fire, keep her warm. Let's take a look at that trail. What was your sleep, Andrew? Good. Yeah, we didn't get much. All right. So I slept with my uh, flappy hat on. I think that that saved me uh, from getting cold. And here we go. Oh yeah. Something about uh, winter time for those who don't experience it. The colder it gets, the crunchier the snow gets. There it is. You hear that? Now you know it's a, at least 20 below. Oh yeah. It's at a point you just gotta scrape it, do a couple hot water passes. Exactly. There's a few bumps here that we yeah, gotta hit up with the scraper. Getting real close. Really close to skatable. This is cool. You can see the like the waterfall effect, the ripple. Why is, why is this effect? so smooth? I told you this is the, the What the heck? The wow! It's because I did all the snow oh. to level it, and then you guys uh, went <laughs> oh, over it without oh, you, messing it up. Before, yeah, yeah. I, that made the difference, man. So uh, that's the answer. You just take your snow and, and level it. So you can see like there's a high spot there. There's a dip right there. So maybe a little like lumpy to try to uh, go over this. So you just kind of level that all out with some snow first. This trail is looking so good. We gotta do a quick slide. Let's go, boys! Totally crushed it. It's gonna be ready for the birthday party. Now, I'm just gonna go slide right down the hill. I think this is dangerous. Might wipe out. Oops. Oh yeah. Whoa! We're a little faster now! Let's see, here we go! <laughs> Nailed it! It took a lot of work to build this trail and we're still not done yet. Mason's birthday is tomorrow, so we're gonna keep on flooding and chipping off all these high spots. It has to be perfect because I am gonna skate with Mason's cake down this trail and I do not want to wipe out. Thanks to Andrew's hot water tank and a night spent in the tent, we were able to do what I thought was impossible. We built 400 feet of skating trail in just a few days and it's gonna be worth it to see the look on Mason's face. So hit that subscribe button and find out if we can make some viral videos on this trail as well.